Macy here. Welcome back to The Bright Side and today we are doing my June reading wrap up. Stay tuned tomorrow I'll be doing my June audiobook wrap up. When it's available I'll link it up here in the cards and down below in the description. So I only wound up reading four books once again in June but never fear I'm already three books in and into July and we're only a weekend because of my readathon so there'll be a lot more reading content in July. I've just, like I said, have been busy and I've been doing a lot more outside so I've been doing more audiobooks than physical books and I've been bad and watching TV before I go to bed instead of reading like I normally do which is much better for my health. But I think I'm over this like mini slump and I'll probably get back to more of my like five or six books per month. But I did read four and I really really enjoyed all of them so let's just get into it. First up my reread for the month was Undine by Penny Russin. I'm really glad I got to this one because I wanted to see if it was a mermaid book and it is technically not a mermaid book. At least not book one in the trilogy or the series, I'm not sure. This one's about a girl Undine who starts to notice some magical things happening around her and like in her home and in her area and she starts to hear kind of voices and things going going on and she kind of follows those instincts and she has a friend and she falls in love and there's some like stormy magical things that happen and I really really liked it it's just a really really fun really fast-paced read so I think I wound up giving Undine 3.5 stars and I finally finished Language of Thorns by Leigh Bardugo and I am so glad that I did first of all this book is just absolutely stunning with the imagery and the art and the way that it's written this is by far my favorite Leigh Bardugo book I just thought that this was just absolutely fantastic so this is all fairy tales set in the Grisha world so, so Siege and Storm, Rune and Rising and uh, Shadow, Shadow and Bone, Six of Crows, all that stuff. Even if you haven't read those, I think you'll still enjoy these. I don't think that they technically spoil anything because it's just fairy tales set in that world. So they all have kind of a Russian twinge to them. And a lot of them are based on fairy tales in our world, which I absolutely loved. There's even like a Nutcracker version in here. And the Nutcracker is like my favorite for Christmas. So I was just so, so pleased. And the way that they were written, they're a little bit darker, but not too dark and very poetic and romantic and just... Mmm, so, so good. And there's a mermaid one in here, which was freaking phenomenal. I had these mermaid things. Oh, I loved it. It was amazing. I gave this entire thing five stars as a whole because from the pictures to the art to the way it was written to the fairy tales, oh, I just can't get enough. Then I read Fortunately the Milk by Neil Gaiman. I had picked some tiny little books off my shelf to finish. And this is a children's book. And it's got really cute art in it as well. And it's about two kids and their dad and they're having breakfast and they send their dad off to go get milk for their cereal. And he comes back and he has an adventurous story to share with them involving pirates and aliens and dinosaurs and vampires. And he's just telling this, them this whole story, but fortunately he still has the milk the entire time. And it was just charming and adorable. I'm probably going to listen to it on audiobook here soon because I'm sure Neil Gaiman narrates it. But I highly recommend picking this up too just because the illustrations are great. Just awesome. I think probably something that I'll read my kids if I do have kids. <laughs> and I think I will recommend this to everyone because I thought it was stinking adorable. Five stars. And then lastly, I read Fairest of Them All, Tale of Wicked Queen by Serena Valentino. This is book one in the Disney Villains series, like the back history of the evil queen from Snow White. And it was good. It was very good. It's not my favorite Snow White retelling, but I really, really enjoyed it. And there were some things in here that were quite different than the other retellings and back histories of the evil queen that I have read. There are like some evil sisters in here and just mm, I just really I really love a good villainous backstory and I really love a fairy tale retelling so this one has all those Disney vibes as well because it's Disney press so it was a little bit more accurate to the Disney cartoon of Snow White that we know but not silly like that. Um, so I gave this one, I think I'm giving this, this one 3.5 stars just because it wasn't my favorite but I really enjoyed it and I'll probably reread it sometime in the future. So that's it. I'm sorry. Short and sweet. Tomorrow will be a little bit longer. I think I listened to six audiobooks again. I'm not entirely sure, but there were some really good ones there. So hopefully I will see you tomorrow. Let me know if you guys read anything awesome in June. Did you have a better month than I did? Do you read more books than this or less books than this per month? Thanks again so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time on The Bright Side.